things sure, changed, man. Kind of yeah, things changed. I was yeah. doing push-ups and all this other kind of stuff. Yeah. I was uh, I was actually really kind of enjoying myself, uh, but it got so expensive. And my my distributor is uh, like he put me on to be a distributor. The second one is money. Yes. You need money. Yeah. As simple as it may be. When uh, John Belushi would be like, is he ready? He's like, no, I want like, uh, no, no, I'll take like a hot dog and sour cream and say, she work. He's like, all right, well, so, yeah, I had, uh, I was sporting a beer like that for a minute. Uh, man, if it was me, I'm telling you, I would have me one of them big Ben Laden you know, like, bang, like one of them drinks. You know, see, that's uh, part of the seduction. But it's too many of them jailhouse Muslims that think the measure of their faith is in their whispers. The kaftan, the kufi, the Arab tattoos. You know what the first thing they're going to do when they get out? They're going to get them a Mecca jacket and some silver jewelry. <laughs> Man, all them gimmicks. What do they do to let a brother unify himself with the living will of God? You know? And yeah, another thing I don't understand, man, is how, like, how do they make, why do they make their women cover up like that? You know, this is, first of all, this is 2008, but how is a black man going to ask a woman to do that? You know, That's what, what I'm we, saying. I mean, we've come too far for that. The way That's I see it. This is my opinion. You know, like, this one time, I saw the woman she had on, you know, the traditional guard or what have you. I'd be damned if it wasn't Louis Vuitton. I'm trying to tell you. I mean, she yeah. walked and it's got the LV all over. I'm like, great, you know. But it just don't seem natural to me. Like that don't seem like it go together. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, they still be talking on their cell phone. They be flipping people to finger and traffic. You know. I don't know. It just seems like a bunch of nonsense sometimes. What up? You know, that's what I'm saying. I was enticed for a minute. But in the end, it just didn't show me nothing about my soul. I won't eat no pork, though. <laughs> That's one good thing. You buy yourself on that one, to tell you the truth, man. I need my grandmama pork chops. Well, she smothered. Man, please. I need that. I need it in my life. I'm like, I, I used to mess with this one Dominican chick dog. She used to hook me up with them, uh, them chalettos or whatever. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The Perno or something. Yeah, Perno. Perni. Yeah. yeah. Yo, listen to me. Oh, my goodness. Some, some hickory bacon and some honey, man. Honey glazed ham. Thanksgiving time. Boy, I tell you, touch yourself thinking about it, man. I need that in my life. You can be as religious or as spiritual as you want to, but I need me a pig in my life. <laughs> it's just my opinion, though. Right. <laughs> you crazy. Hey, you remember when, that, uh, when Richard Pryor had his heart attack? <laughs> yeah. You ever heard that? And he did. Yeah, he turned up. And that my heart said, don't breathe, motherfucker. <laughs> he said, then I start praying. He said, oh, Lord, I'll change my ways. If you let me live, I'll be a good servant. Yeah. And he said, his heart was like, nigga, you weren't thinking about that when you was eating all that for. <laughs> yeah, man, that was that boy. He said, no. Yeah. He said, no. Richard Pryor was off the glass. <laughs> Kept me rolling. I'm going to miss him. Yeah. No, matter of fact, I'm gonna miss it. A lot of people will. I will. The first one has bacon. The second one has no bacon. Uh, the second one, uh, Turk Club, uh, no bacon. Correct. That is to me. No bacon. That is to me. No bacon, that is to me. That is to me on both. That is to me too? On both. On? On, for, on the first one too. On the, okay. Turk Club. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, the number one. Yeah. Right. The number two, turkey club. No bacon. <laughs> 